My name is Christian Kaitashonga. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, I figured it would be a good day to just bring you out here with me to meet John and to learn about how to roast coffee. process of roasting, step one, we preheat, which is called the, uh, uh, the charge. We're charging this up, getting it up to temperature, and we're about to drop the beans in. And here we go. Okay, we just dropped the beans in. What's happening is you're getting room temperature beans dumped into a 400 degree roaster. And over here, this represents the beans going in and the temperature dropping, because you have room temperature going into warm. The beans are sucking all of the heat out of the roaster at this point. This is called the dry stage. Don't know why it's called the dry stage, but obviously a lot of moisture is sucked up and taken out during the first two minutes. doing now is just watching until it drops and that's called the turn when the beans have hit their bottom temperature and they turn and they start increasing in temperature so we're just waiting for the beans to basically uh, get temperature, develop, get the inside uh, warm, the outside warm. You don't want to get the outside too hot. Without the inside getting hot, you'll burn the outside and not develop the inside. And this is the glamorous part of roasting. You're just basically sitting and watching numbers. Here again is our air temperature, which relates to the number here. This blue line here is our bean temperature that relates to that number there. And then this is our uh, rate of rise, how fast the beans are rising. And that's an inverted number, which is uh, by this delta right there. Eventually, we're gonna want these two lines to come together like an airplane landing. So you want them to come together nice and smooth. That would be the air and the bean temperature meeting. So your air and the bean will be the same temperature at the time you're dumping the beans out, where right now the air is way hotter and the beans are way cooler. So they're, they're going in this direction. So you, want them to, you don't want them to collide. You want the two temperatures to come down nice and easy. Starting to get towards the end here. We're going to try to drop these beans before they hit the second crack. This just sucks the air through, so down through the bottom, it sucks the air through the top as the beans are spinning sucking the air and that, that's what cools the beans down. So as soon as they're done, you don't want them to stay hot. You want them to cool down. It's like taking a steak off the grill. Yeah. You kind of take it off before it's to where you want it and you have to let it sit. And it kind of continues to cook a little bit. So same thing as the beans is once they've dumped out of there, you don't want them to continue to be hot because you've got them where you want them to be. So you want to cool down those beans as fast as possible so they don't continue to cook beyond uh, where you wanted them. So that's why uh, this is important to have this nice and big and have a big fan that cools things off real quick. So that took three minutes to cool those down from 410 degrees 
down to room temperature in three minutes. That's pretty good. Thank you so much, John, for such a great roasting. Yeah, thanks for listening. We really appreciate it. <laughs> really appreciate it. We're going to put out some more. Okay. If y'all are interested in roasting coffee, this is the guy to talk to. coffee guy. Tell him your name. John. John is his name. Coffee guy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.